Cur Dius Homo by Anselm of Canterbury, 1033 to 1109. First chapter, collection six. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Cur Dius Homo, chapter one the question on which the whole work depends often both by word of mouth and by letter have i been eagerly asked to write down the explanatory arguments with which i am accustomed to answer those who ask about various points of our faith for they say that they enjoy them and think them conclusive they inquire not that they may through reason be led to faith but that they may be edified by the insight of those who do believe, and that they may, as far as they can, be always ready to give an effectual answer to anyone who asks for a reason of the faith that is in us. The unbelieving often question, deriding Christian simplicity as infatuated, and the faithful wonder in their own hearts, for what reason, and by what necessity, god was made man and by his death as we believe and confess gave life to the world since he might have done this by another person whether angelic or human or by his sole will on this point not the learned only but also many unlearned persons inquire much and ask the reason of it therefore since many desire this subject to be treated and since the elucidation though very difficult to carry out is intelligible to all when completed and attractive on account of its usefulness and the beauty of the reasoning i will try although what should be enough has been said by the holy fathers on the subject to show forth to those who are seeking that which god may design to disclose to me and since question and answer is an easy way of explaining things, I shall make one of my petitioners my interlocutor, Bozo, shall ask, and Anselm answer, as follows. End of chapter 1 of Cur Dius Homo